Okay, so we've learned that genes are always made up of two alleles, one from the mother and one from the father. We also learned how we can label these different combinations of alleles, depending on whether they're both recessive, which we call homozygous recessive, if they're both dominant, which we call homozygous dominant, and if one is dominant and one is recessive, which is what we call heterozygous. So in this example, we know that the dad would donate a recessive allele and the mom would donate a dominant allele, making the offspring heterozygous. However, it's not as clear if both parents were to be heterozygous, or even if one parent is heterozygous, which allele would they donate? Would it be the dominant one or the recessive one? So a tool that scientists use to figure out which allele the parent is gonna donate is what we call a Punnett square, which is over here to the right. It's a big square with four boxes inside. And what a Punnett square is used for, it's used to predict the possible genotypes for a couple's offspring. So I'm gonna go through step-by-step step right now how we fill this Punnett square out. So step one, we always have to label the parents. So in a Punnett square, it's typical to see the father's genotype written on top of the square and the mother's genotype written to the left. Step two would be to break down this genotype into the alleles that make it up. And step two of labeling our Punnett square would be to label these alleles. Each column and row represents one allele. So when you break down the father's genotype, the first allele would be over this column, the left column. The second allele would be over the right column. When you break down the mother's genotype, her first allele would be to the left of this top row here, and her second allele would be to the left of this bottom row here. Now, this question over here to the left, will you ever have two alleles over the same box? The answer is no. Each box represents one allele. Okay, step three is we then drag and drop. So what do I mean by this? Well, what we do is we drag these alleles that we wrote on the side into the boxes within each row. So we're gonna drag the alleles over and we're gonna write them within these boxes. We're also gonna drop the alleles from the top of the square down into each box within its column. Now step four, after we drag and dropped and wrote in the alleles into each of these boxes, what we're left with is four different genotypes, one in each box. These boxes represent the potential genotypes of the offspring that this mother and father could make when they reproduce. So we have one potential genotype in the first box, we have a second potential genotype in this top right box, we have a third potential genotype in the bottom left, and we have a fourth potential genotype in the bottom right. It's important to understand that each box represents a different genotype that one offspring could have.